I never see a generation that is missing God like this, our present generation. Our present generation are 24 hours busy missing God because we overlook what God called us to do and be looking for material things. We have removed our eyes from Jesus and looking at the disturbance of the water like Peter. And that is why the whole generation are sinking 24 hours. I never see a generation that miss God like this present generation. A generation of bottled waters. Generation of olive oil. Generation of coconuts. Generation of keys. You see many things going wrong in the kingdom of God these days. Because this generation have missed God beyond measure. Jesus said, have faith in God. Do you know what it means to have faith in God? Today, many people are having faith, but in their prophet and in their pastors. That is why when their prophet and their pastor will not come to church, if they discover that the man of God or woman of God is not around, they will not go to church because they know that nothing is happening without the pastor. And sometimes we men of God are happy, we are rejoicing that people cherish us like that. But it means that we have failed God and we fail ourselves. If you are a man of God or a woman of God, at any day you did not come to church, when your members notice that you are not around, they will not come to church. You are a failure. You are a failed minister. You have failed God. You have to go and cry for repentance. It's not a good thing to rejoice that when your member discover that you are not around, nobody will come to church. And sometimes we are busy celebrating it. Generation that fear God, generation that miss God, I see many of them running around different ministries, different churches, carrying bottled water, only void, keys. Sometimes they will tell them to buy cane. Sometimes they will tell them to bring ripe banana. Sometimes they will tell them to bring native pot. Those things that uh, idol worshippers are using, we are now bringing it in the church, in the ministry. And everybody now discover that this is the best way to, to, to grow ministry. And everybody is jumping into it. Generation that miss God. I want to tell you, child of God, I know that truth is very scarce, especially our generation that don't like truth. When a man of God starts the work of God selling, telling the people truth, people will run away from him. Maybe people that are supposed to sow good amount of seed we may not come, but the Lord shall bring them in the name of Jesus. But I want to tell you the truth. Every man of God, hearing this word of God, we have a great responsibility. That people are missing God today is because we are the one that devil used to make them to miss God. Because we draw the attention of people to ourselves, not to Jesus anymore. We draw the attention of crowd to ourselves, not to Jesus anymore. That is why when a man of God is entering the congregation, the whole congregation begins to shout and scream and shout and scream and begin to rejoice. I am not against those things. It's good if truly we are doing it in the name of the Lord. Generation that miss God. Let me ask you, dear listener, have you missed God? Are you sure you are not among them that have already missed God? Generation that lost in wilderness. Generation that lost in wilderness. Are you sure you are not among them? What is the purpose of going to church? What is the purpose of going to that particular ministry you are going to? Check very well. To serve God is very, very expensive. And it is good to serve Him more than to serve our belly. God bless you. Don't forget to share this message to many people. Forward it to as many as you can so that we can save life. Let's join hands together to save life and to prepare people for eternity. May the peace of God be with you all. See you next time and bye for now.